Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked if the symbol with these brackets denotes the greatest integer function defined in example 10, evaluate the following limits. So what is this function actually? Well, it is defined as the greatest integer less than or equal to x. Right, if we're putting in x, right? If we're taking this function of f of x, it would be the greatest integer less than or equal to f of x, or so on. But this is the greatest integer that is less than or equal to x. So here, we are taking the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of x within this function. So that means that we're taking values of 2 or values of x rather that are approaching two, and from the right means that they're greater than two. Very slightly greater, right? Going off to infinity, getting closer and closer and closer to two, but they're greater than two, which means that the greatest integer less than or equal to them is two. Therefore, this is equal to two, right? Meanwhile, if we are just looking at the general limit as x approaches two, to do that, we're going to first have to understand what it means for the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of x. What does that mean? That means that we have numbers that are less than 2 approaching 2, which means that the greatest integer that is less than or equal to them is not 2. Right? They're not quite at 2 yet, therefore they're not equal to 2, or 2 is not less than them. This is like 1.9999999. The greatest integer less than or equal to 1.99999 is one. And therefore, the limit as x approaches two of x does not exist because the limit from the left and the right don't exist. And in part three, the limit as x approaches negative 2.4 of x, this is a little different, right? Because whether we're dealing with from the left, so that'd be negative 2.39999, or from the right would be, or sorry, from the left would be negative 2.400001, right? I'll just write that down. And from the right, it would be negative 2.3999 and so on. These are very close to each other. The greatest integer that is less than or equal to these is the same. Right? because they're not like bordering an integer like 1.99999 and 2.0000 are. For both of these, the integer that is less than them is negative three. If n is an integer, we're asked to evaluate the limit as x approaches n from the left and from the right. So from the left, These are values that are slightly less than the value of n, right? So they're not quite at the value, right? That's like right here, we're not quite at two, right? We're not right at n, so the greatest integer that's less than or equal to them is one less than n. Meanwhile, if we're approaching n from the right, these are values that are greater than n, and therefore n is less than them, and the greatest integer less than or equal to these values is n. We're asked for what values of a does the limit as x approaches a of x exist? Well, this is all um, real numbers, except the integers, right? So if we're looking at the numbers between, let's say, 0 and 1, All of these values, except for 0 and 1, for those values and the values near them, right, the values approaching them, the greatest integer that is less than or equal to them is 0. At the actual endpoints, right, we're getting closer and closer to 1. The greatest integer that is less than or equal to these points is 0. 
But then the moment we get to one, n for values greater than one, they're looking back to here as the greatest integer being one, not zero. Therefore, this function has a limit which exists for all real numbers except the integers.